Good morning all, it's post bag and I think this one's from Alice. Let's see whether it's what I think it is. Mm, yes, I think it is, let's unwrap it. So, a couple of clues on here, uh, Bluetooth 4.0 and the chip is the NRF51822 and then in this bag there's uh, a USB cable and then there's this motherboard and again it says Bluetooth 4.0 now this is a baseboard or a motherboard for the NRF51822 module which plugs in up here, I might as well plug that in now. And there we are, that's it. But what's it do? Well what I know so far is that this chip is both a microcontroller and a really quite powerful one, it's a ARM Cortex-M0 microcontroller. And it also has a 2.4 gig, a 2 .4 gig uh, data transceiver, you can see the antenna there, um, which not only can uh, have has protocols for Bluetooth 4.0, um, Bluetooth LE Low Energy or Bluetooth Smart, I think they're calling it now, but it can also uh, communicate using the uh, Nordic Semiconductor NRF 24L01 Plus protocol as well. So I was doing my usual thing of trawling through uh, all the stuff that my favourite eBay sellers are selling and I came across this, the uh, BLE400 motherboard for the NRF51822, BLE which is Bluetooth Low Energy 4.0 Bluetooth, uh, 2.4 gig wireless module expansion etc and of course this was uh, being sold by Alice1983 who does seem to have all the latest stuff. And of course also listed was the module itself with the chip on, uh, low power consumption BLE 4.0, Bluetooth 2.4 gig, wireless module NRF51822. So features of the NRF51822 are that it has a 2.4 gig multi-protocol RF transceiver and by multi-protocol that means Bluetooth 4.0 LE and also the NRF24 uh, LO1 protocol. It also has an ARM Cortex-M0 32-bit processor, uh, built-in hardware encryption, 256 kilobytes of flash and 32 kilobytes of RAM, and then all the other stuff that a typical microcontroller would have, and uh, stuff here on the uh, radio frequency side of the chip. Now the motherboard uh, has a number of features here. We can see that uh, there's a battery holder there, 9 uh, battery holder, yes. It uh, has I2C interface, SPI interface, uh, there's a USB connector over here and the chip next to that, 13, is the CP2102 uh, which we've used before. So what this does is it allows you to connect it to your PC, talk through the USB to serial interface and then on to the module itself, the uh, NRF51822 chip. Now, looking further afield, I found uh, this Waveshare Electronics are also selling this uh, module board, this expansion board, this motherboard. Uh, they're calling it the BLE 400 as well. There's a bit more information here, um, including dimensions. And also this photo here, which shows other modules being connected in through the UART interface. Here's a, uh, what's that, a GPS receiver. There's an E squared prom connected in through the what's that? That's the I squared C interface and something else connected to the SPI interface. And there's the chip module itself. Uh, so in the features, we've got onboard battery holder, multi power supplies are available. The chip can run directly from the coin cell battery. Uh, it is very low energy, as it says. Uh, all the IOs are accessible for easy expansion, integrates the CP2102 USB to serial chip for debugging. Uh, we've got LEDs and user keys and uh, interestingly it says here that this board is compatible with other, uh, <laughs> my mouth is right over the word I wanted, with other official boards easy to use. So what's the official board? Well it might be this, the Nordic Semiconductor uh, website here shows the NRF51 DK development kit. Let's just have a quick look at that uh, board. 
Now on here, uh, I'll have to tip my camera down for this. It looks like we have the uh, NRF51822 chip down here. I can't see the antenna just at the moment. And there is this great big chip up here, which I don't know, could it possibly be some sort of debug thing? It is a bit different from the board I bought from Alice, because here we only have the 51822 and the little USB to serial chip there. But I've got a feeling this is the official board they're saying that it's compatible with. So uh, really this is a bit of a punt, uh, 18 or so dollars spent on these two uh, boards and I'm still not sure really where to start and whether or not I'm going to be able to get this thing to do anything. Uh, but I have been doing a little bit of looking around on the internet for uh, other people who are playing with this chip and I found this. Uh, Electronut.in, so this is in India. Uh, this is run by Mahesh Venkita Chalam, and he's got, uh, by all accounts, the official board. So I'm planning to follow uh, his sort of introductory uh, procedures, and uh, it looks like from this photo, all he's doing to start with is using a little LDR and probably trying to read the ADC and get some results from that. But he's using the official board, and I'm not. So it seems to me what we're aiming to do here is having connected your uh, RGB LED up to the uh, NRF51822 hardware, the aim is to run a little app on your smartphone or tablet and then use the buttons on the screen to control what you've connected up to the microcontroller. I think that's where we're trying to head. Uh, whether or not I'm ever going to get this to work or not, I don't know. This is a bit like how I felt when I bought the ESP 8266 but there is information out there and uh, you can get there eventually so this is what I'm hoping to do something like this. Now Alice doesn't have a download link with resources but Waveshare does. Uh, development resources, demo codes, schematic, data sheets etc. Click here to download. Ooh, a six or four hour download. Oh well I'll leave that running and see what we get. So I'll put all the links I found so far in the description for this video, but uh, that's today's rather speculative purchase. That's today's post bag.